Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I got some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, I got my throne mesh in, but I was so excited that I ended up just opening it anyway. I was going to do an unboxing or unbagging video, um, but I kind of was too excited. But here's the envelope. And uh, he wrote a note on the invoice. It says, hey buddy, uh, glad you liked the new limited edition mesh. I uh, threw in a kit and a gold screw so you could be very patriotic. The apparel turned out real nice and everyone seems to be loving it. Finally, everything is made in the good old USA, so string it up and rip corners with pride. And there it is. As you can tell, that's probably why <laughs> for a second I kind of had a struggle finding out what some of the words were, but that's pretty much similar to my handwriting. I can see why some people have trouble reading mine now. But um, here is what this video is really about. So as uh, the note implied, I got the limited edition mesh and patriotic. So I got the red, the white, the blue, and there's a really thick nylon up here. Normally it's classified as top string, but I just use regular nylon up top. So because the top's blue, I went with a blue sidewall. He gave me enough that I could do probably either red or blue on the top. But I used the red on the sidewalls. I was almost going to do like a two-face thing. And, uh, you know, try to tie a knot right here in the middle and then go red one way, blue the other way. But I kind of felt the knot might not have worked. So, um, yeah, the red's on the side. But, um, I went with three straights because I'm, I'm kind of back to liking that again. Um, the V's, yeah, they look cool and whatnot. I kind of cover up some of like the bunching that has to be done to get some of these pockets, but I don't really care about that. Um, I just care whether I like how it feels and how it shoots. And um, this one kind of came out almost boat like, but all I got to do really to fix that is, uh, well, first off, break this in a little more. But um, if it's really that bad or it becomes illegal, I just move this bottom string up one row of diamonds. It'll just pull that back down. And then, you know, really the pocket, when I first strung it, was up here. There we go. Then I sent the pictures to uh, to Joe over at Throne uh, last night. I let him get the first look at it. And, uh, and you know, it's a mid-high, pretty much uh, signature. Uh, I went second hole, interlock, skipped, interlock, skipped, interlock. And then I went two, three, one, one, tie. And obviously, looking at it, you can tell I skipped a hole between each one of the pattern things. So here's the channel for those of you that get a nice big chubby off of uh, these nice tight channels. It's almost tighter than a uh, somebody holding a V card. But um, that's beside the point. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I got the red, white, and blue pride. And inadvertently, I didn't know it, but um, I kind of got the, the border battle going on between my sticks. I got the USA, and then I got the Canada. Whoops. Oh, well, I kind of do live on the border, so. <laughs> and I, oh, well. And um, some kid, I guess, in the last video uh, commented and said I did the top string wrong. Um, if he was implying that I didn't do a triangle top string, um, they're not necessary. You don't always have to do a triangle. Um, triangle top strings, yeah, they look all right. They do kind of pull the mesh up, but it's not wrong if you don't do it. Um, I just do a traditional top string. Um, nothing special about it, just, you know, go in, around the string, up, you know. So, to please him, what I did 
was the exact same thing. So, eat that. Um, <laughs> I, I love criticism because usually it comes out as a funny video. So, that works out for everybody. Um, so, yeah, I did the exact same top string just to uh, please everyone. It's not wrong just because I didn't do a top, uh, tri top. I just personally don't like them. Um, if you look at some of my pictures, um, I have done triangle top strings on certain heads, but I just never really found the point. I mean, I guess they, they hold everything pretty tight up top, but I've gotten so used to over the years having the same top string that like now, I don't really see the big deal. Uh, and like I've gotten used to how these type of top strings keep everything. I mean, usually if it starts feeling a little loose, all you gotta do is tighten this top string, and then it just pushes everything back to tight. I mean, I like a little give right there, not necessarily to the point that it hits the plastic, but a little bit of give. And I mean, over time, that string's gonna gonna give, and the mesh is gonna break in, and I'm gonna have to tighten it. That's just what happens. Oh, and before I forget, just as he said, he sent a gold screw. Bam. I don't know if it'll pick up on this. Or maybe I'll. Yeah. See, so you got the titanium here. And then that's definitely gold. So I got all the colors of the flag on this thing. And I went with the navy bottom string. So top and bottom, exact same color. Sidewalls, both sides, same color. I think I'm going to trim this freaking thing. It's way too long. So. Probably gonna go outside, play a little catch with it later. Um, hopefully, it doesn't friggin' rain like when I was trying out the other one. It just pissed me off. I was almost gonna get a my new friggin' strike uh, stick all muddy. So, um, hopefully, you guys like it. Um, let me know, uh, comment, you know, subscribe if you haven't. You're probably insane if you haven't. But, um, but sorry, drinking a monster. And uh, I said her. Yeah, this thing is huge. It's like a 24 ounce or something like that. I'm probably gonna drink it over the course of the entire day. But um, because otherwise, if I drank that thing down now, I'd be talking faster than micro machine man or micro machines man. See, I'm talking even too close for my brain to process. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you guys like it. I'll give you another look here. Um, it's not bad. Um, yeah, like I said, I probably can, you know, pull this down more, but it throws like I like it, so I might not even change a thing, so, um, I don't really care, but there we go, um, these are all straights, it's just where the, where the pocket forms, it looks curved, so, but the red and the white, it's so nice. And this bottom shooter, it sits basically right on where the ball is going to sit. So when the ball is in, like that, the ball is basically right there on that shooter so that it gives a nice smooth release. Ah, I just thought I was going to throw it at my computer. That would be stupid. Don't do that, kids. So, alright. Before I keep rambling on even more because I'm in a monster rage, and I need to WD-40 this chair or something. But anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later.